This leader is provided to permit the projectionist to adjustments before the film begins. The volume and tone are identical with the soundtrack which follows. shot by a cop. Show him the money, Paul. This is the language I understand, Mr. Merritt. Seems like there's no time at all between lotteries anymore.
in the old Hollywood days, everybody had to sign a seven-year contract, and they were awful because they were all for the studio and not at all for the artist. And I wasn't feeling too good about the contract. Chris, what's the name of that the film where uh, they uh, where they uh, uh, stone a woman to death? What's it called? in an alley and there was a group of high steel workers in the third floor balcony of the fire escape on a skid row hotel on one side of the alley. We learned later that they were Indians from a tribe in northern New York State. One of the cops asked me if he should shut them up. I told him no, we weren't shooting any sound, let them enjoy their beer. But another of the cops was a hotshot cowboy. He ran clattering up those steps, shouting at the Indians, barged into them, I uh, aimed the camera up at this fire escape. They pulled back. He pulled out his gun and shot three times bang, bang, bang. and killed one of them. First thing you know, everybody wanted to be going back and living in caves. Nobody work anymore. Downpour with thunder and lightning and heavy, heavy rain. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. It's like he he designed it. From this valley, the shade you were leaving, we will miss your bright eyes and sweet smile. For they say you are keeping the sunshine that has brightened our paths for a while. Come and sit by my side and eat you.
he was a good guy because he was a, the first son of the to think things out when you're alone. You can make changes or corrections without having to discuss them with anybody or argue about them. I'm a director who never sat down. The director's chair was a waste of money for me. The closer the relationship between the director and his cameraman, the better. You gotta pull back to show him the side, then you The large images I shoot I call photographic elevations. And that's after an architectural elevation. The drawing an architect makes where he looks at the building in a picture where everywhere you look at it, you're looking straight on at the building. And you can't get that in real life. It's impossible. So I can fake it. And I like faking things. And I was very, very unhappy to be back from Europe. I mean, what, what am I going to shoot here? I looked at Crenshaw Boulevard, and there's some very interesting shops put together, a lot of color. So I guess since then, I've shot at least a 1,000 elevations of Los Angeles, among the thousands in other places. So how many proposals did you have before I proposed? Oh, oh nearly a thousand. You should have asked my mother. They talked to her mostly. Mm. And my mother had a sense, bitter, oh, what a nasty sense of humor. She would say, oh, I'd be delighted if she marries you, but she has to decide. Oh, you have nice. to ask her. So it was left to me to say, no, go away.
then, but I learned over the course of my career how much actors do for the director. to tell the actor how to act and changes the way he says a line or how he does his business. And then I'm losing one of the most important things in the film is a complete sense of reality. This kid was very good. And he told me when we finished, I never want to be in another movie. Thank you. 